I am running late this morning, so I'm just going to do a quick ab workout before work. I can lie to you and say that I work out every day, but that's not the case. However, I do try to go to the gym or perform some activities that get my heart rate up at least two to three times a week. I find that regular exercise improves my physical appearance as well as my mental well-being. avocados so the smoothie is a bit thick so I just think I just need to add a little bit more ice next time some of you may be wondering how I became an accounting manager my journey was far from smooth sailing to say the least when I first graduated college my dream was to work at one of the big fours that dream quickly turned into disappointment because I was rejected by all the major firms that's when I decided to pursue private accounting. At the time, I was making $52,000 a year at a place where working 50 plus hours was the norm. I was faced with tight deadlines every day, and even when I wasn't working, my mind was consumed by work. My mental health took a beating, so eventually, I made the leap of faith over to working in the tech industry. It wasn't easy, but I climbed the ladders and eventually got to where I'm at today. Now, I'm working at a company that provides a better work-life balance, I have the flexibility to work from anywhere, and best of all, I'm getting paid well into six figures. So right now, I am working on accounts payable. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracking what's owed to our suppliers. So there are a lot of invoices that are sent to me to review. So I just have to make sure that one, the invoice is valid, and two, the invoice is coded to the appropriate cost center. So I just got pulled into a meeting that's going to happen in an hour to go over the finance board slides that I had prepared for our upcoming board of directors meeting. And the purpose of the, this meeting is to kind of go over the quarterly results. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> So it's finally lunchtime, yay! And I have nothing to eat at my house, so right now I am actually heading to the good old Wendy's for lunch. are a way for us to catch up with each other. During this time, we typically provide updates on how tasks and projects are progressing. This time is also reserved to resolve any issues that may arise in the work week. 
we could be trying to figure out a way to collect the past due payment from our customers or coming up with the appropriate journal entry to recognize revenue. So it is currently 3.30 p.m. Um, the sun is already setting today. It's pretty early. I'm going to take a quick break to water my plants. As I'm taking a break to water my plants, I'd love to share with you my favorite things about being an accountant. First, you have the opportunity to work in various areas of accounting like audit, tax, or financial accounting, which is what I do. However, you're not just limited to that. You also have the chance to work in a wide assortment of industries like health, fashion, or tech, which is where I landed. When you train as an accountant, you gain skills applicable to almost any industry. I am an introvert, so I feel mentally drained if I constantly have to interact with people. One of the biggest pros of accounting is that there are times for conversation in small groups, but also a lot of times to work independently. Also, my job allows the option to work from home, which makes it really easy and convenient whenever I need to run errands. As I'm preparing dinner, I'd like to share with you some of the challenges that come with the job. Working in a tech startup, I have to wear multiple hats, which means I need to know enough just to be dangerous in every area, and that can be quite exhausting. And I'm not gonna lie, dealing with Excel formulas and vendor invoices can be mundane and monotonous at times. Plus, accounting is not sexy work. It is kind of like the engine of a car. There's a lot of work going on in the background to keep the engine running, but most people will only care about how the car looks and feels. Thank you for stopping by and if you're still curious about accounting, subscribe to my channel because in the next video, I'll be sharing exactly what I do as an accounting manager. Bye!